Hey guys, Eat Sleep and the Techies here, and today I'm going to go into our first program that we're going to create in Visual Basic 2008. We're going to be creating a uh, very simple login uh, box thing with very easy code. Um, I'm just using an if then statement, so in no way is this secure at all. So um, let's go ahead and get started by adding two buttons. I'm also going to show you how to make a very simple um, close button. Very easy to do, but let's get on with it. Let's move these up. Oops, move them up here and resize a bit. And we need a two text boxes. So those would be located right here. here they are just any size will do that sure why not you can always go back and of course design however you want but and we'll go ahead and make a label two labels and label one will be username and this is very awkward how I'm sitting, so... Alright, password. And... Button 1. Be login. So login. And close is the second one. And of course, if you want, you can uh, change around your icon, your... Uh, program name, all that, but I don't really care because it's just a tutorial. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our close button. We are going to double click on the button close and it'll bring up this with our little private subs and uh, code coding area. So, to make a close button, very easy, you type in me.close. Very simple, just like that. And we can go ahead and run it and hit close and it closes very simple okay so the next thing we're gonna do is make our if then statement now uh... before we get started i will go ahead and tell you that text box one is the first text box we created and text box two is the second text box we created obviously this is button one login is button one button two is close so that's that and if you wanted to, you can even click on the text box for password and go down to uh, password char character. You can type an asterisk so or anything else. So when you type stuff into the password box, it'll give you the little like protected text kind of thing. So uh, just in case you were interested in that. Yeah. Okay, enough messing around with that. If we double click on our login box, it'll bring up another code. Uh, the same thing, but just now we're coding for the button. If you notice up here, it'll say private sub button to click. That means we are working for the code on the action of button 2, which is our login thing. So, um, so we're, like I said, we're going to make a log, an if-then statement. So we just start out with traditional if then statements if text box text box one dot text equals uh, whatever your username wants to be so I'll do techies if it equals techies and text box two dot text equals uh, let's go with Lol cakes. If that equals that. Then, um, so if they type in the username and password correct, uh, for this we'll say uh, it will prompt them with a message box that says "Welcome back" or something. So we'll just do msg box for message box, and then our little parentheses and quotations. And it'll say, welcome back, welcome back. Done. There we go. If they get the username and password right, it'll say, welcome back. Simple. 
So then we just have to do now is make an else statement to tell them what if they typed in something wrong. So we'll do that. It's just else and then colon, colon, and again, message box, message box that says, you are a hacker. So there we go. It's as easy as that. If username and password's right, then welcome. If it's not, you're a hacker. So if we run it, and what was our username we said? Our username was techies. Password was lolcakes. Mm -hmm. And if we hit enter, our login, mm -hmm. it says welcome back. But if I type something in wrong, like da 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 da, mm -hmm. it says you're a hacker. So there you have it. Very easy um, a login box using if thens. Again, this is nowhere secure, so if you want to have this like automatically log into your bank account stuff or something don't do it do it the database way so uh... yep yeah, that's it hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching this has been eat sleep from the techie be sure to check out the techies website for great game and software reviews as well as a database of all techies videos also please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you. Thank you.